section B and first question of section B is question 186. Question states that which of the following secondary metabolites are produced by plants for their defense action and the options given are first option morphine and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is not a secondary metabolite, so this cannot be a correct answer. Second option, nicotine and carotenoids. Carotenoids, they are used in photosynthesis, so this cannot be a correct answer. Third option, strychnine and caffeine. This is correct combination. They are produced by the plants for their defense action and they are secondary metabolites as well. Fourth option, terpenoids and glucose. Glucose is not a secondary metabolite, so this cannot be a correct answer. So, correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 187, match the following columns and select the correct option. Placenta. Placenta secrete hormones which are either proteins or steroids in chemical nature. Placenta secretes many hormones like estrogens, progesterone, estrogens and progesterone are steroid hormones. HCG is a protein hormone and other hormones secreted by placenta are HPL and many more hormones. B. Zona pellucida. Zona pellucida is a acellular layer made up of glycoprotein secreted by the secondary oocyte. So, B matches with 2. Then, C. Cells of Sertoli. Cells of Sertoli in presence of FSH secrete certain factors which help in the process of spermiogenesis. So, C matches with 4. Seminal plasma. Seminal plasma is rich in calcium, fructose and certain enzymes. So, D matches with 3. So, A with 1, B with 2, C with 4 and D with 3. This combination is given in option number 4. So, correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 188. Oxyntic cells secrete HCL which helps in conversion of and the options given are first option trypsinogen into trypsin. This is performed by the enterokinase of Succus entericus. This enzyme converts inactive trypsinogen into the active trypsin. Second option chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin. Inactive chymotrypsinogen is converted into active chymotrypsin by the action of trypsin enzyme. Third option, pepsinogen into pepsin. Inactive pepsinogen converts into active pepsin by the action of HCL. The correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's see option number four. Procarboxypeptidase into carboxypeptidase. Inactive procarboxypeptidase converts into carboxypeptidase by the action of trypsin. Correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 189. Match the following columns and select the correct option. A. Adult with radial symmetry and larva with bilateral symmetry. This is seen in echinoderms and an example of echinoderm is Ophura. So, A matches with 3. Gregarious insect. Gregarious insect. Example is Locusta. So, B matches with 4. Bogles. Book gills are present in Limulus king crab. Limulus is a living fossil. C matches with 2. Bioluminescence is seen in tenophores. An example of tenophores is pleurobrachia. So D matches with 1. A with 3, B with 4, C with 2 and D with 1. This combination is given in option number 3. So correct answer is Three. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 190. Hyperglycemia, ketonuria and glycosuria are indicative of. And the options given are diabetes insipidus, diabetes mellitus, Addison's disease and dwarfism. Hyperglycemia is increase in blood glucose level. Ketonuria is presence of ketone bodies in the urine and glycosuria is presence of glucose in the urine. These conditions are indicative of diabetes mellitus. Diabetes insipidus, this is characterized by polyuria without glycosuria. Addison's disease, 
This occurs due to hyposecretion of glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. Dwarfism is due to deficiency of growth hormone in childhood. So, correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's proceed to the next question. Mm -hmm.